So here we are on a weekend edition of uh, my live stream. It looks like uh, looks like we're getting all of our research. Uh, if you weren't watching the last time, I uh, took a small break and jumped over to my research city over here in Telegary Mesa, and. Um, <clears throat> When I was over there, I researched uh, a couple things to help out with this city some. So, if you were watching live, you caught that. I, I didn't put it up on YouTube. But we have a little bit of a texture glitch here. And this is going to happen every time with this road. I'm Sorry for the phone, just a moment. Okay, sorry about that. It's a friend that I help with computer uh, stuff from time to time needed need a hand. Um, anyway, so we have a, th this texture glitch here. Um, it I don't know. It happens once in a great while. Bridges turn into these, and I think it might partly be due to my uh, use of the of X oxides uh, mod to help raise you know to to change the raise and lower just a little bit. Um, on bridges, but it's not a big deal. All you do is go in, select the bridge section, bridge section, and change the bridge type. Um, so you make it an arch bridge, and then you have to change the density a little bit. Um, oh, maybe I have to go to dirt road. There you go. Just play around with it a little bit, and it'll come back. Same with this one. Wait, no, I don't want the arch bridge. There you go. High density street bridge. There. So, might have to do this pretty much every time we come back in the city, just because that's if they're at that height where they want to do that. Happens. Yes, yes, you had no power for a little bit. We're not being very nice to the city at the moment, <laughs> but that's okay. So, what did we approve in the other city? We ended up getting our wave power plants, but I mostly did stuff for mega towers. So if we go to services, now we have some extra services like the Skybridge station, which we're definitely going to be using in this city. Um, waste reduction level 2, which I usually like to use, but I'm not sure about it yet. So, the other problem with this is uh, in this city, is we don't have any control net, and we're not going to have any high wealth you, um, high wealth residents. So we're going to have a little bit of trouble generating control net in this city. So in order to get everything in this city working correctly, I may end up having to go and start another city in between. Like we may have to kind of take a break on this city halfway, go and start a higher wealth research city, and then come back over here and, and share the control net and finish off this city. We can we'll decide as we go here, though. Because I think all I'm going to do is the Skybridge stations. I don't think I'm going to do the waste reduction levels in this city because they cost a lot of control net. Um, so I'm, I'm going to be doing the um, just the Skybridge stations, and they're they're fairly cheap. So.
<laughs> in the I, I'm in the um, uh, in Tom Merritt's chat room. Uh, it's, it, well, his I guess it's T two T two chat room really, because because <laughs> he owns the server. But uh, Richard, yeah, in that chat room is just being funny. For some reason, my chat room on Twitch isn't loading. So just a moment here. If you've commented in my chat room on Twitch, I'm sorry, I haven't seen anything yet. It doesn't seem to load. see here okay now my now the twitch chat is loaded so again I apologize if you've said anything in the twitch chat I have not seen it I, it wasn't loaded for some reason <laughs> anyway now we have power in the city we need we do need to take care of our uh, garbage and if I remember correctly the wind is blowing as I'm looking the screen from left to right uh, oh and down a little bit okay so we can still probably put our garbage plant up here, or maybe even back here. Actually, I kind of like the idea of putting it right back here, because we can work out something with um, with the recycling as well. Let's see, how much room can we get? Because there's going to be a lot of garbage in the city because of Omega. So we're, we might have to end up having two uh, garbage dumps in order to be able to burn off all the garbage that we create. So... I think I can do them sideways here, because we're, we're probably going to use this area for another power plant as well. But I want to... Oh, these guys. I want to um, create a place for the... And actually, we can do it back here. So create a place for... Uh, Probably two of these to be able to be placed. Uh, two of these garbage dumps. We need a little more room there. Let's try that. Okay. Yeah, everything's still working for the stream. I had to double check, make sure I wasn't dropping frames or anything like that. Okay, perfect. That's what we're looking for. For this road. And let's see, it draws the dump on that side, so let's start the first one here. Because it goes this way, and we'll be able to put a second one of these on here. You usually, I, I almost never actually need that many garbage trucks. It's always more just capacity. So I never worry that seven, you know, that, that you use up seven of your eight by filling up the front like this. Because I, I, if you watch my stream, you'll see I often build garbage plants in, in the same manner, where I put the the trucks right in front of the, the incinerator because that's where they fit and blah blah. blah. Um, but, we'll see how it goes in the city. We should also have enough room over here for one that can fit at least three uh, of the power, uh, the, um, the uh, incinerators. And then we should have room on this side. Yeah, we have plenty of room on this side for, um, for this. Hmm. We'll think about it. I don't know if we're going to do recycling in this city yet or not. Everybody's really happy. Let's build our Skybridge station. And this uses 500 control net. So I need to figure out where to put control net facilities. Because we will need those. And I, and I researched those in the other city as well. Let's see here. Extract a hundred tons of coal. Cool. Um, where would be? Oh, actually, I like this spot right here. That's kind of that's pretty cool. Sits right above the exit. 
of the tunnel there. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Alright. And I have add-ons. It's a little bit annoying that there's exactly six of these, so I can't I can't center it. <laughs> so so yeah, it'll be like that. And then I have to, you know, there, there's no sense. Oh, there actually is on this one. There isn't usually. Oh, no, see, it's not actually centered. So I'll just put it over here like I would normally do. Something like that. Whatever, looks pretty good anyway. Building fire, alright. So we don't have any, um... Any of our other stuff yet. Did I put in... Did I, I didn't even put in a, uh... <laughs> uh, one of these. Town Hall. I suppose I could do that at some point in time. Although I don't know where I want it yet. It actually would be kind of neat to have it over here. Maybe closer to this side. Yeah, we'll do it that way. Oh yeah, we need to come up with a name for this city. I don't know what to name it yet. Yes, yes. This city will do the utilities first. We can use a helipad. We also want to expand our coal mining operations. Yeah, because see, this has 224 month supply at its current rate. And in order to do that, we're going to need more people. Oh, and we are on... There we go. We're on turtle speed. I always forget about that when I first joined the game. I don't think we'll need another coal storage lot yet. We will in the future. And we can build our metals HQ, which I think is what I'm going to put on this side of the road here. And we'll, we can obviously move this stuff around later on. But I'm thinking I'm going to keep dirt roads going to, like, the coal mines and stuff. Just for aesthetics. So where do we want to put our next coal mine? Do we put it along the road here? Or do we go back? Maybe we actually do this. We put one on the road here. And then we draw a road going back to put more in. Make sure we have enough room for all four of these. Which means... Hmm. That's weird. Oh, is this one of the... Yeah, this is probably one of those situations where, depending on which one you place first, you can have them both. Because, yeah, 263... Or 286, I'd rather have that one. There, yeah, see? Now I can place them both. Stupid. 352... We'll go for the 352, 303, 307, 363, 381. I think I'm going to do this one the same way as the other one, just like this. And then we'll draw this road. 
up the middle of it. And have coal mine coming off either side. And then actually maybe go back here to the ore mine. We should do that. Let's see if it's about like that. I think it would be best to place the coal mine along the road like this. Maybe out just a little bit more. Yeah, like that. And then we're gonna have another coal mine over or uh, ore mine over here. Yes, yes. I don't have enough control net to run my <laughs> to run my skybridge, which is bad because it doesn't take a lot. I guess 278. That was a good one. Cool, we get the augmented ore shafts too. One ninety one wins so far. Yeah. There's a little spot of ore over here that I don't think I'm going to worry about. I think I can just, if I just connect this, yeah, that'll leave enough room for a nice ore mine in here somewhere. Or a uh, coal mine. Whatever I'm mining in this city. Oh, and we can put some more people in. Yeah, then we'll have one medium wealth apartment level and then another park because I'm going to try to put as little commercial in the city as possible too <clears throat> and then a topper which might end up being a park topper too I'm not sure because I'm pretty sure this city is going to have basically low wealth jobs And actually, yeah, I changed my mind. Because uh, because we're going to use the park topper most likely, we're going to put another a third low wealth apartment level in. And actually, let's let's take out the scabbard station and put the apartment level in, and then put the scabbard station in. I know, I wasted a lot of money on that mega tower so far. Now, I want to see where two of these is on this back road, because I'm going to connect this stuff from the mega tower all up. But I want to see... So two of these is actually just right there. That give it a little extra room. Two, 
too close. Some curves. And do the curve again over here. There. Now this can come across. Here. Oh, time to upgrade this. What else we're gonna need really a lot in this city? Probably our service building, or just a safety building, what rather. Oh, we need a <laughs> we need a raw ore lot over here. I almost forgot about that. Export that. One hundred twenty-four tons a day. Two hundred sixteen tons a day. Now it says we only have an eight-month supply. Wow. Okay. Now what's this one saying? Still calculating. So we might just like strip mine this. <laughs> We're taking so much coal out of the ground. And I think we're gonna make this city like a smelting city. So we need the smelting division. And then in the spaces here, I think like down here and stuff, we're gonna do the smelting. Yeah, like we can actually want to make sure that the, oh, okay. So we would wanna do it over here. Extend this road. We'll do some smelting right in here. Oh no, we need that room for the the um, trade port. So we'll go like this. There we go. Now if we put smelting over here, we're not going to interrupt, like, any of our coal. Right there. In fact, I will get rid of some of this road if I can. Try to get this as close as I can. I, mean, I guess that's about as close as I can get it. So what are we smelting here? Metal. 
alloy needs <coughs> alloy uses the the coal too. Right? Yeah, because it consumes coal. There we go. So then we need to put an alloy lot over here. Oh, cool, we can fit one right in there. And alloy gets exported. This one shouldn't even take global deliveries anymore. Oh, and I believe it's time to add our Skybridge on. And then we'll do a medium wealth apartment level. Or two. Maybe I think maybe we have room for two now. I don't know, I forget how I configured this thing now. Oh, we still haven't put in a fire station. I keep forgetting about that. So let's do that. Fire station can actually take up this little bit of let's see here. Yeah, this little bit of industrial area. We're gonna put it on this side. Because you don't need these. We just need some of these. Again, as usual, shut most of them off, and then we'll build some of these. Can I fit four? Ooh, I can fit four there. And then I think I can fit the two drone hangers back here when I can build them. That should stop people from burning things down as much. We do need to put a little education in this city. We're not manufacturing anything though, so... There's a lot of people trying to get to work here. Oh, it's too close. Okay. Actually, what if I do this? It's a four-way intersection, but it goes to a dirt road, so hopefully some of the people will choose to go that way. It may just be that we need to upgrade these roads since they're just seeing this back area. I wanted to do dirt roads because I thought it'd look cooler, but it doesn't. It looks like it just takes the people too long to get through them.
So if I do low density, looks a little better. We need to get some buses going in this city too, though. Like there's there's a lot of services that we don't have going in this city. A lot of riders coming in. Ah, and our sky bridge is done. So yeah, then we can build two medium wealth apartment levels. And then a park top. Pretty much everybody's getting the class just fine. Let this grow up a little bit more. Um, I'm going to put in this other ore mine, though. And I think we're going to put it in, like, right back here. Yeah. Can get a little closer to the train tracks? Yeah, like that. Or mine. Right there. Two sixty six. Two sixty seven. Two eighty two. 62, which should be more than any of the rest of these. There. And then I can finish off these roads a little bit here. So actually, this is what I should do. and then connect this straight in over here. Did we adjust the tax rate yet? No, we haven't. Excuse me. Hello, the blue blob. <laughs> Welcome to the chat room. Thanks for uh, watching me on Twitch. Now, how are we doing in trading? I haven't checked this in a little while. Alright, we're starting to make money off of alloy. Let's put in another coal mine. Twenty three hundred forty three. There we go. Let's take a look at our worker detail here, too. All right. Now I need to connect this section of the road here. I 
kind of want to connect it just straight up like this. And then make these curved, uh, of course. if it'll let me make the curve right here into the building. Oh, and it will. Sometimes it, it um, tells you that it's, you, know, you can't draw through a place building, so. And on this side, I'm just going to connect like this. and do one of these. There. That way people can get around the city and everything. I think I'm going to put in a second train station back here. I got a lot of room to do it. Especially if I draw those two like the same length. And then let's pause this. Take out like this section. and then put it in somewhere right in here. There. Now I have two train stations. Yay. I really hate this, but there's nothing I can do about it because I can't, this is an already placed train thing, so. Super irritating, but whatever. Is it time to... Oh, it's time to upgrade this again. Let's see here. Commerce Division, Engineering Division. Advanced Coal Mine. And does the advanced coal mine, is that better than the regular coal mine with the augmented shafts? Yeah, I don't know, here, let's place it and we'll see. Hmm. Oh, advanced augmented coal shaft. That's pretty badass. <laughs> 353, fifth one of these. I didn't realize that. I thought it was just four like the rest of them. Sorry if there's a little sound there. I'm just adjusting where my microphone is. There we go. Oh, and I can have eight of these coal, coal shafts.
to do a couple of these 357 ones. There we go. This thing should pump out a lot of <laughs> need to build another coal power plant. This is going to need to change too, so maybe we need to upgrade it again. clearing out a little bit better but not not a ton better and again we do, we just have a lot of people coming back here to work speaking of yeah we may low on jobs here soon Too much crime, it's too much crime. Okay, so it's time to build crime prevention. Let's do a park crown. Yeah, good amount of crime. Let's see, where would be the best place for this? We can do it right back here. That'd be perfect. Place some of these. Turn some off until we need them. Same with the car lots. And then we're going to have to put in an Omega factory here pretty soon. But I also need to draw cross streets back here. And the same with this one. And this is a pretty cro close cross street, so we're going to leave it just kind of how it is, even though I hate the way this one is stupid. <laughs> well, we're going to put more people back here. Why can I not? Okay. There we go. Let's try that. Close enough. It's all just going to be low wealth up here, so I don't really care how happy they are. Do I play... Uh, yes, I play with mods, the blue blob. I use um, the workers mod. It tells you how many people are at a place working. And uh, it also tells you, you know, how many people are at home and stuff. Um, but it, it just shows you at that moment 
wh which ones. I also play with the uh, pink tech line mod, but you're not going to see it on here because I don't have any any uh, colleges or, or universities or, or any of that. Um, I also use this budget mod, which is nice. It tells you what in your city is sucking up your money. <laughs> It's also nice uh, because it turn it turns buildings black when they're not being used, like the um, like this ones at the fire station and these burners at the garbage dump and stuff. So uh, it helps to notify, you know, to sh kind of show you which ones are are actually using money and, and all that good stuff. Um, I also use X Oxide's bridge and road mod, which helps the the raise and lower tool work a little bit better. But that's again very small modifications. So and. It, Good. Pumping out all sorts of coal. It's crazy. <laughs> How much is this thing doing? Oh, closed full storage. Okay. We need more coal storage here. Probably two. Because we're making so much coal. Alright, now it's time to do health. <laughs> I knew I was going to have to do it sooner or later. Now this does get a little clogged up over here. We can't fit it anyway. But I could fit it, like, over here. Yeah. We'll do that. Just place the add-ons. And I actually may end up just deleting the demolishing these ambulance bays later on um, when I get the uh, drones. Actually, I'm only going to put one of these because I think these uh, drone bays are going to fill up this spot. Alright, and our first mega tower is complete, which is good. Where are we going to put our second one? Should we just put it back here in the corner? I don't care if it's close to people. That doesn't bother me at all. Let's see, let's actually just place it halfway. Again, we're not really caring too much about being exact um, as far as the uh, spacing of buildings goes and, and all that. I'm doing that somewhat, but um, I'm just kind of having fun with the build of this city, so. I'm going to put a school at the base of this one. And then we also start need to start doing this. Let's see what I can do with the curve tool here. Okay, that actually works out much nicer than I was hoping. Oh, there's some loud construction sounds. There we go. And then we're going to come straight out from here and straight across from here. And yet again with the curving of the corners. It's kind of a theme with me round off a lot of corners. There. And then we're going to put a park. 
Sorry about the phone again. Okay, sorry about the phone again. Um, I'm going to start this, and then I'm going to take a break from the stream here because that was my father, and I would like to talk to him on the phone. So, if you enjoy watching me on Twitch, follow me here, and you'll you'll be able to catch me live when I, when I stream. I'll definitely do a couple more hours of streaming today, just in a little bit after I talk to my dad. Um, you, if you want to catch what I do afterwards, I always post everything on YouTube. So you can always subscribe to my channel there and catch everything as I post it. So I hope you have a good rest of your day, and I will hopefully see you again in a little while.